Hey everyone, QB King 77 here from the AC Syndicate team here to do a video showing you the latest way to unroot and or unbrick your Samsung Epic 4G Touch. This is what you're gonna need to do if you're having problems with your phone, uh, you need to take your phone back to Sprint for warranty reasons, or just wanna go back to stock for any reason, you can now go back to the latest EK02 build for the Samsung Epic 4G Touch. So this video will show you how to do that. Uh, what you're gonna need to do first is make sure you have drivers installed on your PC. That would be uh, Samsung Keys, which I will post a link to in the description of the video. So if you don't have Samsung Keys or the drivers installed on your PC, make sure you install those. You're also gonna need Odin to uh, download that. Click on the other link in the description, it takes you to ACS forums. I went ahead and posted a download link for Odin right here. So just click on that download link, download it and extract Odin. Make sure you put Odin and the Odin.ini folder in the same file in the same folder. So make sure those two files inside the zip are in the same folder. So just make sure you got both of those. And once you have Odin, you're actually ready to go. You're gonna need to click on the other link in the description. I can't show you it right now since the download link isn't posted yet. Um, I'm actually gonna be the first one to test this tar file since uh, Good friend Sock uh, Monkey actually got this uh, tar file for everyone. He's an ACS member, ACS developer, so be sure to thank him once he has a thread posted. Just click, uh, I'll link to that in the description of the video. So you'll just click on the EKO2 link, download it, and flash it with Odin, what I'm about to show you to do. So you'll need to make sure you have Odin and the tar file, and that's it. No need for a PIT file if you're familiar with Odin. So just the tar file. Once you're done there, you can actually go back to your Epic 4G Touch and power off your device. So you're gonna need to make sure your device is powered off. You're also gonna need to go ahead and go back to your PC and uh, open up that folder with Odin inside of it. Double click on Odin and hit yes. So hit yes and then Odin will open up as you can see. So what you're gonna need to do is in this corner right here, press the PDA box, select the PDA box, go to your downloads folder or wherever that latest uh, tar file is. Let me find it. Um, I believe it was called, uh, where is it? Right there. So I believe this is the latest tar, this home SPHD710EKO2, so it is right there. So there's the, uh, the tar file, the latest tar file. So double click on that and it will be put into the PDA slot. So as you can see right there, the EKO2 tar file is put in the PDA slot. Once uh, it's in there, up in the upper left-hand corner, make sure you uncheck F reset time and anything else that's checked and only leave auto reboot checked. So that's a, a big thing right there. So only auto reboot checked and you got the EKO2 uh, tar file in the PDA slot and you're ready to go. Now go ahead and go back to your phone, your Epic 4G Touch. Press and hold volume down and power button at the same time. So press and hold both of those. That's going to get you into Odin mode. Um, and then press volume up to uh, continue. So press volume up, and now you're in download mode, Odin mode, you're ready to go. So now you can plug your phone into your PC. So plug it on in. As I said, make sure you have drivers installed. And once you plug it in, uh, let drivers install if this is your first time. And once it does, it should show a yellow box. It should say COM and then a number. Don't ma doesn't matter what the number is, just make sure it says COM and has the yellow box. That means you're ready to go. Odin recognizes your phone. If you're having trouble at all with Odin, usually it has to do with the cable itself. So try different cables. I find BlackBerry cables work the best. Uh, you try different USB ports, try reinstalling drivers, try taking out your SD card, try taking uh, just tr try taking out the battery and doing it if you're having more problems. So just try those tips if uh, it doesn't work for you. But that's it. Go ahead and hit start. As I said, only auto reboot checked and the uh, EKO2 tar file right there. So hit start. It's actually gonna take a while. The file is big. So it's going to take a while to install. It shouldn't take more than 20 minutes. So if it's taking longer than that, something definitely went wrong. You're gonna have to restart, start over, try those tips that I mentioned previously. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and let this uh, flash with Odin and you'll, you should see on your phone actually, you'll, you should see a progress bar going across. So you'll see the progress bar, this progress bar will go, it'll go through some things for you. This'll let you know what it's doing in the bottom left hand corner. But as I said, I'm gonna let it go and I will be back. 
All right, so it's just finishing up, flashing the modem. As you can see, the progress bar is almost done on the phone as well. And once it's done, it should actually just auto reboot your phone, which is why we check auto reboot. And it should, you should be good to go once this is done. As you can see, reset, pass, my phone is now rebooting. And that's about it. You are ready to go. Once this boots up, I should be back to stock EK02 Android 2.3.6. So I'm going to let this boot up, and once done, I will show you. Okay, my phone has now rebooted. It looks like it didn't wipe data, which is okay. So to test this, to make sure I'm unrooted, I'm going to go to Titanium Backup. And it says, sorry, I could not acquire root privileges. There you go. So you, as you can see, it's not rooted and you actually have stock Android recovery. If after you flash Odin, your phone will not reboot, power off your phone. So I, I guess I'll show you guys now. So it, just in case, if your phone is not working properly after you Odin, here's what you're going to need to do. So power off your phone. And once you're powered off, go ahead and go into stock Android recovery. Press and hold the volume up and power button at the same time. Keep it held down until the first screen pops up. So as you can see, it popped up, let go. And it should take you into the stock Android recovery. As you can see, it does. So you're, you don't have clockwork mod, you don't have root access, you're completely stock. No one's gonna know. But anyways, all you're gonna have to do if you can't, your phone's not booting or not working properly, just go to wipe data slash factory reset and press the home button to select it. So just do a, a factory reset and that's it. Your phone will work fine. So don't worry if Odin doesn't completely remedy your phone. Just hit a wipe data factory reset and you should be good. So I'm gonna reboot my phone and then show you guys I am on stock EK02. All right, my phone's booted back up. So I'm gonna hit menu, go to settings, scroll down, go to about phone. And as you can see right here, build number Gingerbread EK02 right there. Android version 2.3.6. So there you have it. Baseband EK02, build number EK02, Android version 2.3.6 kernel EK02. So that's it. So now I am completely back to stock. I can take it back to Sprint for any warranty reasons or if I like stock better. Anything like that. So that's about it. Um, if you do have any questions, run into any problems, feel free to ask. Just leave a comment on the video. I'll be happy to help you guys out. Be sure to subscribe to me for future videos. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. All links will be in the description of the video. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, and thank you for watching.